I've longed for this moment. It's the end of the Pro League A season. And, well, we've made a right meal of it, to be honest. But we're in a situation where we can, I don't know, win the European places playoff final against STVV, who finished above us somehow. Yep. They've still got my uh, Mitchell Van Ingen up front for them. Is this correct? Yeah. Trash. Just... That's that's his peak right there. Mitchell Van Ingen. They've also got Danny Vase. Wow. Some old players popping their heads. Are they Groner? Can you remember him? So there's a few. Do we have Van Dessel as well? Oh yep. Yes we did. There's a lot. Louis de Moore? No. That's where it stops, I believe. Uh see if you can find any um any of our other old players. But there's a lot of old uh, S uh, Rupel Boom players in STVV. They've obviously had a fantastic season in comparison to where they usually are. Uh, they beat me, I'm sure, uh, this season as well. We're probably coming into this not favourites, judging by the last few fixtures. But whatever. Let's go and try and win this and see what the prize is. I don't even know what the prize is. Actually, before we go in this, before I forget... Let's go to the schedule, and let's see the Ferreira Banger versus Cirque Bruges, 4-2 victory. We finished the season really well, really strong. Um, it is a slight disappointment this season, but I guess there is some optimism as well. It's disappointment and op optimism rolled into one. Jurgensen, Marcos Roberto, and we've had to use Marcos Roberto later in this uh, later in this campaign because of the transfer history one of our big players have gone Nicholas Nicholas has gone to Wuhan for 24.5 million pounds I think that activated his transfer release or his transfer release might have been 25 million and I went 24.5 plus the 40 percent of his next sale let's just check can't get any information there. Yes, there is a 40% of next transfer fee will be owned to Rupel. Boom. Nicely done. Okay, team selection. That's a nice transfer for us. And oh my goodness. Through that money. Oh, look how many players are joining Rupel. Boom. And this is all through basically getting them before they sign professional contracts with their with their parent clubs really cheap really strong the highest amount paid 5.5 million for Almeida who's like a future transfer has been a future transfer for ages so we'll talk about some of these players when they actually drop in in the summer or next winter this guy is there anyone oh my goodness he joins in 2034. But he is he's dirt cheap. 2033. So there's a, yeah, it's it's a whole list of players uh, joining at very different times. And we will see them and talk about them when they actually join up with Rupel Boom. There's a lot of um There's a lot of time in between. So let's let's finish the season. STVV against Rupel Boom. Fourth place might do something good. I don't know. I'm presuming it's a group stage um, group stage place in the Europa League, which, you know what? Because of our Champions League group last season, I would probably take. It's not like we're like in, in desperate need to get um, Champions League. The transfers... Are basically already made like to say that we got that number of transfers in from one player signing for a Ch Chinese club is uh is outstanding and of course Mitchell Van Ingen fucking scores oh, the, I don't like this guy I don't like him like he's not good and yet he likes to score against us come on come on Bolsmund let's get up this field Goes past the tackle. Fine, finish it. 
That's what a proper striker does. Mitchell Van Ingen might have got 30 goals this season. Bolzmann's got 35. Have some of that. Great run by Bolzmann. Back in it. Let's go. Let's encourage. Finish strong, boys. You wouldn't be surprised to know that Club Bruges have won the league. And I'm saying that without even seeing the results of the championship group. There's a hatred for this man. There is actually a hatred for Mitchell Van Ingen. He's had two shots. Put them both in. Yep. Mm-mm-mm. It's Raw's ass. Loses out to Zoll. Brave face, Curtis. This has been the testing season. It's all right. We're all right. We're not all right. He's got a hat trick. Wicked. This is, this is the face of a man that's really pissed off. Really pissed off. Let's go attack him. Immediately as I go attacking, something changes, and there's a there's a, probably a little clip here for STVV. Yeah, let's not go attacking then. Let's go balanced. How about that? Demanding more of the team. Like these guys are these guys are not good. Not even close. Groners, not as good as my midfielders. Mitchell Van Ingen, not. Mitchell Van Ingen, not as good as my forwards. Yeah, close him down. I don't even know if I clicked that properly. It, I mean, that was correct. It doesn't even look like we're attempting to win this match. Like, Jesus Christ, sort it out. I can't really... I, I can't even change things. Not yet, anyway. Do it! Do it! Bloody hell. Nah. We can't go cautious. We need goals. Can't even finish the season off correctly. Mate. We we need a better season next season. Oh my goodness. We'll have, we'll have all the jigsaw puzzle, puzzles in place. Go on, Bullsmond. Fucking hell. What? Keepers. I'm going to demand more. Oh, did I just press no pressure? That might be devastating. Good finish, Rosas. Good finish. But now I've said no pressure to my lads when they're 1-0 down or one goal down in the final game of the... Yeah, of course, it fucking really hurt them. Demand more. Oh, this, I, oh, this is a sweary episode. A very sweary episode. Winners. Go on then. Skoglund to take it on the attack. Oh. Demand more, come on. I press no pressure again. What a fucking idiot I am. And this will just allow someone in the um, comment section go, oh, I told you not to start sell them players to opposing teams in your league because... <laughs> Wanker. Right, what's happening? What's, what's the result of that? What's going on? I don't even know what's happening. Rules... Uh, 
One team qualifies. Wait. Oh, so I go into the European group stage anyway. Is that correct? Let's just check this out. Belgian Pro League. League table. Yeah. So that match is completely irrelevant. That The match what we've just watched was completely irrelevant. Makes me a little bit easier. Well done, Bolzman, for getting the top goal scorer in the league this season. Good top, top man, top man. You got 35 goals, 7.13 on the average rating. Noah Jurgensen got most assists. Really productive from him. Marcos Paolo, most pass completion. Uh, player of the match goes to Bolzman. And then La Rosa with the yellow cards. Not a single player got sent off. How about that? Performance, I mean, I really expected our manager performance rating to be a lot lower than that, but whatever. I mean, fourth and fifth clearly have no difference. Why even play the match? What's the point? If we'd won, we'd get into the Euro uh, Europa League group stage. If we lost, we got into the Europa League group stage. Fuck Mitchell Van Ingen. <laughs> this is a really, really tired cutscene saying goodbye to another season. Good night to this thing because it's, it's way too late. I need to go to bed. Let me get to bed. And let me look at this summer. Try and sign some even more wonderful players for like absolutely nothing. Let's see where we are next season. Yeah. End of the episode. Bye-bye.